Hello from Blues Domino. Just wanted to show off the new addition to the guitar family. That's right, folks. It is a 2016 Fender Elite American Telecaster Thin Line with the uh, natural finish. That is absolutely gorgeous. You know, pictures just don't do it justice. has the new N4 noiseless pickups. Um, you know, I really like what they have to offer, but it seems like if you don't have any kind of a signal going through it, or if you don't have a, uh, 
you know, planted ground, like you're on the strings. If you just let go of this thing, you get all of that kind of hiss that Atelier is known for. But once you have signal going through it or ground, Sustain galore. Check out this new bridge. It's that new suspension bridge. I don't know if you can tell the detail in this thing or not. Um, you don't have the uh, drilled through you know, ferrules for the strings. It's all right here on the bridge. Comes right out. Um, you know, strings are run right through, and the bridge is kind of suspended and some kind of a bracket that hits the back end of this deal. This is something that's exclusive just to the thin line American Elite. And, uh, and of course you've got your dual N4 noiseless pickups. They're single coil. Of course the thin line, I don't know if you can see, uh, we've got three pieces of ash. The center block being pretty much solid. And then you've got your two uh, chambered, solid, chambered, chambered, and the classic F hole that you get with the thin line. Uh, some other unique things to each one of these elites has their own little finish. Uh, this particular one has the nice, um, this picture just is not doing it justice. It's got the nice tortoise shell uh, pick guard. And the binding matches that same thing. And then we've got a maple maple neck. Uh, big thing on the American Elite is the fact that it's a compound radius. And not only is it the top of the fretboard that's got the compound radius, but you've got the back of the fretboard too, or the you know the actual neck itself. It's fatter up top where it feels good to be chunky. And the more you go down the neck, it's got a little more carve to it, so it's thinner. And then, of course, the top, kind of the opposite, at the fretboard, it's flatter, uh, you know, down below where it's easier to finger your, your chords, and then it's more of a rounded deal. So that you don't uh, choke out when you're doing your massive bends and all that good stuff. Another unique feature is the uh, truss rod adjustment is right down here where it's easy to get to. So if you need to give a little relief or tighten up your, uh, you know, your neck, you've got it right here where it's easy to get to. Don't have to worry about doing the whole uh, bullet style. Deal in the back. Another nice thing about this guitar is the carve out that they have at the neck joint. So you get a lot more access for being able to shred up top here. Uh, super nice, easy to play. And of course, being an ash body, I thought it was going to be alder, but I guess it's ash. And uh, just gorgeous wood grain with a nice gloss finish all the way through. Such a pretty thing, and it's super lightweight. Uh, you know, case wise, you got the new ABS molded uh, flight approved case uh, with the gray cloth carpet style inside. And I'm here to tell you, it's really nice. I like the fact that the case comes with the uh, uh, you know, the little grooves on the top of it and the bottom of it. So if you have multiple versions of this guitar or any other guitar that are in that ABS molded plastic case. You can stack those and they'll stay taut and where they need to be. Um, you know, it comes with the strap locks and a nice made in Canada leather strap. Um, you know, just a, a really sweet little package put together. Uh, I know that the uh, 2016 sees the 
edition of the Elite series, which replaces the uh, Deluxe series. And I'm here to tell you, uh, I'm really pretty satisfied with it so far. Just immaculate finish and detail on this. Fender has always done a great job of shipping out a guitar that uh, meets your playability specifications right out of the box. Uh, and I realize this is a long ass video, but uh, I'm rambling and I ramble when I'm happy. So I hope you guys enjoy it. <laughs>